Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you every shrine location at Upland Zorana Skyview Tower. Okay, so the first shrine we're going to be looking at is the Yomizuk Shrine. If we zoom in right here, you actually need to go to this cave first before being able to get to that shrine. It's at Tarn Point next to the Lenariu Sea. So once you get here, you'll be good to go. So after you make it to the cave, you're going to want to jump right on in and you're going to want to swim across. If you have a platform or anything that you could build fans to get across you could do that too but i'd rather not waste my gear in order to just swim across this place since i can climb on some rocks and just keep jumping and there you go then you just collect your rewards and that's it okay so the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the apple Cake shrine which is going to be on the right side of the map right next to the lunario sea and right underneath Ja Abu Bridge. So you're just going to mark right here and get to it. And the structure is what it's underneath. So if you can't see it from the sky, do not worry. It's right underneath here. The next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Gitanesis Shrine. The shrine is going to be all the way on the right side of the map, on the edge of the map, down this mountain right here, right next to the Oria Grotto and next to Knuckle Island. So if you want to mark right here, it'll be out in the open. Super easy to find. Okay, so the next shrine we're looking at is the Ihenna Shrine, which is going to be located on the right side of the map in the Ploimus, Ploimus Mountains and right next to Mifa Court. So if you want to mark right here, you'd be good to go. The next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Razataka Walk Shrine, which is going to be also on the right side of the map, northeast from the uplands around Skyview Tower. And if we zoom in right here, it's near Kepora Pass. And this is what the structure looks like if you want to mark right here to find it. So the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Jochi Ehiga Shrine, which is going to be located on the right side of the map, right next to Cape Poor Pass and the Razi Takiwak Shrine that we just went over in Akala Falls. If you mark right here, you'd be good to go. So the next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Kisinona Shrine, which is going to be located at the north-ish of the uplands around a Skyview Tower and right next to Foothill Stable, right next to Sefla Lake. And if you mark right here, you'd be good to go to find this. The next shrine we're going to be looking at is the Maoix Shrine, which is going to be on the right side of the map, southwest of uplands around a Skyview Tower. And you're going to want to mark right here on top of this skull. You're going to want to end up right in front of it so that you can walk into the cave. Once you're at the cave, all you got to do is jump in it and then activate the shrine and collect your rewards. And I believe they give you a diamond, which is pretty nice. And that's about it. The next shrine we're looking at is the Jonyu Shrine. Now, in order to get to this shrine, it's going to be located on the right side of the map. But we have to be in Rallis Pond in order to get to this cave called Rallis Channel. So if you mark right here, you'd be good to go. And it's nearby the Gray Zora Bridge. It's basically in this area right here. After you've made it to the cave, go ahead and jump on in. Then you'll see a green crystal. You're gonna to wanna to build a raft with two fans and a steering wheel. So that's what I do right here. I add two fans and then I see the little steering wheel. I connect that to the middle and then I connect that crystal to the middle of that too because you don't want the boat to tilt so then you get that raft started and you just drive directly down the channel and the shrine is going to be at the end and that's the entire shrine so the last shrine we're going to be looking at for the uplands around a tower is the mogawak shrine which is going to be located at Zora's Domain on the right side of the map, right to the right of Upland Zorana's Tower. So if you mark right here, it'd be very easy for you to find. 